We hope that this can save his life and, and I don't want to even go there into the negative zone because I'm going to be positive. So we're heading outside right now. It's, it's past midnight. It's about 12.30 at night and we've just got, just got that we just got back from uh, my art show thing <laughs> that we were doing all night, <clears throat> all evening. And our cute little calf, little boy, is, so is born. And he's in the Thank barn. Thank you, Jonah. You and did an awesome we job. We owe a lot to our friends with um, Willow Creek Homestead. He brought them um, into the barn to keep them <laughs> warm. We are so, so grateful for you guys. Yeah, he, um, Jonah, you went really the extra mile yeah you really did <laughs> we were hoping that jonah was going to be able to make sure that the baby was healthy and dry and just he ended be up being ended up you know the helping doula, it come the, out yeah the everything you know the <laughs> deliverer <laughs> yeah caught the so baby thank you. yeah you were the total doctor you, you uh, really stepped in it was awesome um so we we noticed though that this baby has weak um, front ankles or toes. Um, it's, it can't it's stand up on joint. its front legs. It keeps going on the knuckles. We looked it up. It's a common thing where their tendons really tight. And so we're hoping that we can get it fixed so that he can nurse. And uh, we don't know. He hasn't been showing any interest. We didn't hang out a whole lot to see um, but it didn't seem like the baby was strong enough to even stand up to go walk over to get milk. So yeah, we're afraid... we don't know if he's had any colostrum yet. Exactly. We hope that this can save his life if we can cast his legs up. So out we go to get this figured out. At least, even if some, you know, worst case scenario, we tried as hard as we could. So... And that's why we're going out in the middle of the night to go and help our little baby calf. There's the baby. Hi. You can see he's got an elbow, basically. And then this is something like our wrist up here. And then this is something like our knuckles <laughs> down here. And this is the one that is not... Yeah. Yeah, well, here he goes. It's not straightening mm. now. Um, so he's kind of... Oh, poor thing. Go. It's okay, buddy. Poor guy. See, so yeah, so he can stand up like this, there you go. but then those ones buckle. See, they buckle under his weight. Down here. Good no, job, what, what, buddy. Yeah, this is much better than yeah, a minute two ago. hours ago. When we were out here before. I better go. Um, so, yeah, if we can get him strong um, enough, we definitely want to make sure he's nursing. That's the biggest priority and staying warm. Hi, big guy. Little tiny guy compared to the last time Buttercup calved for us. It was mixed with a... can't remember. Oh, poor guy. And that's what happened last time. He just kind of just gives up. So I'm allowed. thinking, based on what just happened, I'm thinking we should splint all the way up to his elbow. Okay. Basically. His so those first, so the first knuckles two. and the wrist. Okay. Basically. Um, so he's having trouble with both. Both, okay. Although, although he was standing up on that. Mm-hmm. So that shows significant improvement and we don't yes. want it to atrophy. Yes. Oh, I know, I know. It's hard, it's hard. He's crawling around on his knees. Come on, come on. That's better than before. Yes, Much yes. Yeah, let's come get on, sweetie. Out I know, you should make him a sweater. <laughs> we read that farmers actually do that. They use old sweaters and they'll wrap it around there calves to keep him warm and we may end up doing that <laughs> if we can get him oh interested in nursing mm. that's the most important part Hi. I mean and he may have nursed we weren't here but I just want to see him oh, he, he, he usually calves our last calf would suck on our finger like it was a nipple or a teeth mm. I guess this is the technical term and see how, how they're, it's, they're, they're just tight they're not bending they're supposed to bend. It's like arthritis like or that. something. <laughs> like So it'd be like us trying to walk on our hands and knees like that instead of like that, like yeah. normal. He can't straighten him. Yeah. They're too 
they're just constantly contracted. And that's the term, I think, is just contracted. Contracted ligament? Ligament, yeah. That's so. what it said in the, in the internet. <laughs> On the interwebs. Okay. All right. Let's get over here. <laughs> Buttercup, I'm you're, sorry, you're, you're swollen. Kind of heavy, but that's good. But mm. hopefully Buttercup will cooperate, even though she's <sighs> probably not comfortable. Because <laughs> she's got so much like going this. on here in the milk department that she might be sensitive. I tried, oh man, hard as a rock, yeah. poor thing. Yeah, it's like that for mm. a few days and then it really softens up. That's how it was last time. So, we really want this to work out for several reasons. First of all, obviously for the baby who we we love. Look how cute he is. Hi, sweetie. I feel bad. You, like, I don't want to make him. Are you reaching up to nurse? I hope so. That's a natural movement. That's a good, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. He really is so much more alert now. Than he was before. Yeah, we were worried he wasn't moving much right when we got home, and maybe he was napping or whatever. But still, it Just made us. Move him, move him over. We definitely could tell that he was. He still can't stand on those little ankles very well, sweetie right. boy. Well, he stands on his ankles, but on his hooves is what I mean. Just get him to do this. Kneel down. <gasps> here you go. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, 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 over here. Yeah, yeah. Go Ooh, get your milkies. Wow. Go get your milkies, sweetie. Come on. Buttercup, you need to move over here. <sighs> Come on, Buttercup. Oh, he's still on his knuckles. Is he? Oh, that looks painful. Oh, 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 oh. oh my sweetie. Did he get it a little bit? Oh. On his toes. He's on his toes. Let's let's definitely cast his feet. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Oh, almost. See, and he gets exhausted. It must hurt to strain it so bad. So we've got the splints made. And we're gonna put, we're gonna try doing two on one leg. And uh, we could try one. Do you think that wouldn't work though? Because you need it to be stiff on two sides. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe that's know. why the one that I saw in line failed, okay. is because it didn't help. Maybe. So. You're not gonna like this, buddy. Come on. You just turn it on your side, I know. Yeah. It's not natural. I don't know. Now I'm thinking I should just do the... The one knuckle? The one knuckle. Hi, sweetie. You have owie ankles. Do you need my help? Okay, well, we've got these splints on and the baby did take a few steps and then it knelt down again. So he is standing on him now, um, whereas he was not at all before. Not really. Um, still shaking, obviously he's weak. Looks like it hurts a little bit. We're thinking our, our really bad job of splinting may be good because it'll prevent um, atrophy. Yeah, he'll still have to work his leg a little bit. Well, his legs. So but. hopefully... We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think there's a part he was tripping on, so we'll have to cut that part of the hose. Yeah, these are really terrible splints. We would not pass medical school, but... <laughs> but hey, if it gets the patient better, and if it strengthens him a little bit instead of being a total crutch, then maybe that's better. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>